Hi guys, just checking in. Happy Monday. If you missed yesterday's worship service, which included a couple of messages about Jesus, salvation, who you believe him to be, and letting go of things that get in the way of you in a relationship with him, that's still available online. You'll find a link to the service at the end of this video. Next week, Pastor Tim Morphew will be back again to bring us the message. Tonight, the search committee is meeting to conduct an interview with a candidate, so please be in prayer, both for the discernment of your committee and for the calling of wherever this pastor is led to go. Wednesday night at 6 p.m., our paper and hygiene products pantry is open again. If you'd like to volunteer to help pass out bags or to pray over the prayer requests that come in, just show up at 5.30 so the team can get you settled in. Right after the paper pantry at 7 p.m. is the next session for final chapters. We had to postpone session 3, so this session, session 5, is going to be a special combined course talking about both all those necessary plans for the end of your life and how to have those necessary family conversations. This session will last 90 minutes, but the guest speaker we expected before, Rachel, will be walking us through that process. This Saturday at 3.30 p.m., Shepherd's Heart is hosting a funeral dinner for the Tom Arrington family. Cindy Carlisle came around yesterday during their Sunday school classes to ask for donations for that dinner, so if you signed up to bring a dish, please just have that here by noon on Saturday. Saturday night at 7 p.m. is our next movie night. We will be showing a movie called Full Count. This movie is about a young baseball player who's thrown a serious curveball when he has to abandon his college baseball aspirations to deal with a tragedy that puts the fate of the farm and the family at jeopardy. The movie is free, the popcorn is free, the snacks are free, so grab a friend and come on out. Sunday night from 6 p.m. to 6.30, we will have our weekly prayer time. You can meet in person in the church library or through an audio-only Zoom link. Just contact the church office and we'll send it to you. The new thing coming to our church calendar is that we are going to be having a trunk or treat. That means we need your trunks. On Saturday, October 30th, we will line our trunks and just enjoy this time of blessing that we can bring to the kids of the community. Start thinking about your costumes and how to decorate your trunks. Our Bible memory verse comes from 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8. And it says, above all, love one another deeply, because love covers a multitude of sins. And that's all I have for this week. I hope you stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you on the next one.